Nigeria will be thrown into brutal war if Namdi Kano dies in detention, IPOP replies Femi Adesina. IPOP gave the warning in a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Pafo. While reacting to the revelation by Femi Adesina, former special advisor on media and publicity of former President Mohamed Buhari. The indigenous people of Biafra has warned that Nigeria would be thrown into brutal war if its detained leader Namde Kano dies in detention or gets killed by the government. It was reported that Adesina said that former President Buhari opted for the redemption of Kano when his administration could have assassinated him. Now, according to the former presidential aide, Buhari disclosed this during a meeting he had with a delegation of some Igbo elders who had pleaded for the release of Kano following his extraordinary redemption and detention in custody of the Department of State Services in Abuja. Powerful in a statement said, we assure the Nigerian government that they can no murder Namde Kano without consequences that will shake the foundation of their one Nigeria. Femi Adesina claimed in his book that Namde Kano was arrested and extradicted to Nigeria to face trial in their court. To put the record straight, Mazin Namde Kano was not arrested but was kidnapped in Kenya, tortured for eight days and extraordinarily Redemption to Nigeria by the government of Muhammad Buhari, he stated. Even when the Court of Appeal in Abuja discharged and acquitted Namde Kanu, the government of Buhari refused to obey the judgment of the court. Moreover, the current APC government of Bola Metinibu has continued with the persecution and illegal detention of Namde Kanu. IPOP wants Nigerians past and present governments to understand that Namdi Kano has no charges against him. Kano is being prosecuted and detained extrajudicially for championing a lawful Biafra self-determination movement referendum. The IPOP spokesperson for the state said that those who contemplate eliminating him directly or indirectly should be ready for a brutal war. Should they dare we promise all collaborators and their families that they will equally be eliminated irrespective of their country of residence. The earlier the Nigerian government releases Mazin Namdekano and negotiates a peaceful dissolution of Nigeria, the better. But in the event that the Nigerian government eliminates our leader, Nigeria will not only violently disintegrate, but the perpetrators and their families will also be eliminated in revenge. We are IPOB and we are global. IPOB Worldwide is on the oath to avenge the death of our leader. We shall not forget and we shall not forgive. This is the statement stated by Powerful. Meanwhile, Femi Adesina has disclosed how former President Mohamed Buhari proved that he was not Jubri of Sudan as claimed by Namde Kanu leader of indigenous people of Biafra IPOP. Adesina said Buhari had remembered his name and commented on his dress sense upon his return from London in 2019. Buhari had travelled to London in a medical trip and while abroad, Kano had claimed that the president died and was replaced by Jubril of Sudan. However, Adesina dismissed this claim, saying Buhari's actions towards those who received him at the airport showed that he was not cloned. Adesina's disclosure was contained in his book, Working with Buhari, Reflection of His Special Advisor, Media and Publicity from 2015 to 2023, launched last week. He wrote, The then Chief of Defense Staff General Gabriel Abayomi Olini Saki was given out his daughter in marriage and had been invited. For such outings, you needed the full Yoruba Agbada with cap to match. That was what I wore. From church and reception, I went straight to the airport. As the president was billed to land about 4 p.m. And when he did, we formed the usual reception line. He shook hands with everyone, saying, one wise cracks or the other. He is full of such. And when he got to me, he said, Adesina, this is the best I have seen you dressed. 
We laughed. Yes, I do not often wear a bada, and it was probably the first time the president was seeing me in it. When later some people began to spread unfounded stories that the man that returned to the country on that August 19 was not the real Buhari but a clone named Jubri of Sudan, I just found it preposterous, even utters. My response was usually that if the person was a certain Jubri, how did he know my name and commenting on my dressing? Pathetic people, pitiable. Now, Ohani is in the Igbo and the Igbo social cultural group has implored former President Mohamed Buhari to tell Nigerians the, tu- the truth rather on the arrest and trial of Namdekanu, leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Bra- Biafra. In 2021, the IPOP leader was extradited to Nigeria after he jumped bail and fled the country. Following his arraignment for alleged terrorism, treasonable felony, and incitement, he has been in custody of the Department of State Services DSS since his extradition. Buhari was quoted to have said that bringing Kanu back to face trial in Nigeria was a favor. The comment was attributed to Buhari by Femi Adesina, his former spokesperson, in working with Buhari reflection of his special advisor, media and publicity. Adesina narrated how a group known as highly respected Igbo greets, great, led by Mbazulike Amechi, a first Republican minister of aviation, pleaded with the former president to release Kanu. In the book, Buhari said the federal government, under his watch, had the option to eliminate Kano but brought him to Nigeria to face trial, which he noted was the best option for all parties. Reacting to the former president's comments, Okechuku Isigo Zoro, Secretary General of Ohane Zindibo in a statement, said Buhari's confession of the killing options of Kano is a flagrant validation of international conspiracy against the Igbo. The group asked Buhari to summon the righteous resolve within him and provide Nigerians with an unambiguous account of the truth. Ohane Zindibo, the unwavering voice of the people, Igbo people precisely, demands that former President Mohamed Buhari face the Nigerian populace and answer for his alleged involvement in an egregious international conspiracy against the Igbo during his tenure, the statement reads. At Ohane Zendibo, we initially dismissed these stone-cold international conspiracy theories against our beloved Igbo brethren. However, our suspicions have now transformed into certainties thanks to the spine-tingling revelations made by Mr. Femi Adesina, the former spokesperson for former President Mohamed Dubari's administration. Adeshina chillingly admitted that there was indeed a contemplation of the killing options before adopting the strategy of subjecting Namdekanu to court prosecution. This admission now exposed the nefarious web in which Buhari's government entangled itself, willingly executing the scripts of international conspirators against the Igbo in their unjust arrest of Namdekanu. The blatant disregard for court pronouncements and verdicts in favor of Namdekanu's release further strengthened our suspicion, suggesting a sordid partnership with international forces. There can be no more delay. The time for truth telling is now. Haniz Indibo employs former President Buhari to summon the righteous resolve within him and provide Nigerians with an unambiguous account of the truth. Justice and transparency demand nothing less. The Igbo people, alongside the entirety of Nigeria, deserves honesty and accountability.